I am so sick of seeing people's faces. Everybody's making videos. Way too many people are putting their faces on videos. This includes me. So let's, let's just listen to my voice for a while. I miss the days of listening to people and using my imagination to fill in the blanks. I still think stand-up comedy is better listened to rather than watched. I mean, do we really need to see the same stupid face over and over for an hour? Nobody's face is that compelling. See, there's my face, once again, ruining this video. I grew up listening to comedy on tape. Kinnison, Carlin, Pryor. And it allowed me to focus more on their words. Oh, I couldn't afford to buy the tapes. Well, not until Columbia Records came out. Before that, friends would pass along things like this. Mixtapes. That's how comedy went viral. That's handwriting, kids. And I would listen on this thing. I remember bringing this to school and cranking that one speaker. Then one day, the world changed. Well, it's coming. And it's here. Good evening, I'm Ted Koppel. And, and we could carry our music with us. It's a tiny stereo cassette player. And then we danced in the streets. Sound. This is no exaggeration. Men wore shorts that high up. Put on a walk, man. And, and everybody had one of these. And if you were going near the water, you better get a yellow one. And I could listen to my comedy and music in private. And of course, some people like to share their music with the whole neighborhood. Or use it to get laid. And technology just kept getting better and better. Oh, and one more thing. The biggest thing about iPod is it holds a thousand songs. But before I go too far, let me explain what was going on before we were allowed to listen to music alone. A brief history. There was one audio source and the entire family sat around it listening. Here are some images. This is a dad controlling the radio in his suit. And this is a family enjoying my first comedy album. And then came along records. They came in all sizes. She clearly wants a bigger one. This is a record store. And this type of behavior led to babies. Then records turned into tapes and we had to buy a whole new format, which ended up in cars and caused all sorts of confusion. New formats have always confused older people. But that brings me back to these things. The Walkman. Of course, there was that odd period in music, the eight-track cassettes. Not everyone had these. They were mostly found in Trans Ams. Uh, you know, you could listen to your favorite comedians while doing donuts in a parking lot. But most people just had these beauties. Look at them. And we listen to music. Now, music videos are great. Usual, but close your eyes. Create your own universe. You might even get blown away. <laughs> That's pure vodka. Excel. It's worth it. Now, the format's invisible. It's just up in the air. It's so much easier. So, listen. Take a walk around the house and listen. And use your imagination. And you'll smile like it's the 80s.